Thai activists have burned portraits of the country's leaders as they continue protests against the government. Demonstrations have been held over the past week, despite a coronavirus ban, on gatherings. Saksith Sayasomba reports from Bangkok. This is the latest in a series of student protests against the government that we have seen in the past week at different places across the nation. And it has been set off by a big mass gathering on Saturday here in Bangkok, which was the biggest political protest since the coronavirus lockdown and arguably the biggest political protest in general that we have seen for quite some time. It's a loose coalition of young tires called the Free Youth. And they say that the government of Prime Minister Prayut Chan Osha is just merely the continuation of the military regime regime since the military coup of 2014, thanks to an election held last year that was deemed by many critics as rigged. Now their demands include a new constitution, the dissolvement of parliament and the resignation of the government. And until then there are more protests being planned and scheduled at different places across the nation. Now we have seen such anti-government protests by students earlier this year when the second biggest opposition party, the Future Forward Party, was dissolved at the hands of the constitution. Court, but the COVID-19 pandemic has stopped the movement from gaining more momentum. And since then, Thailand hasn't had a locally transmitted COVID-19 case for 60 days now, and yet the government will still extend a state of emergency until the end of August. But at the same time, they also insist that this is merely being used to contain the spread of the virus and not being used against the political protest. But such actions combined with growing concerns of an economic downturn turn thanks to the pandemic, that only increases the list of grievances against the government in the weeks to come. Saksit Sayas Ombat, CNA, Bangkok.